I am grateful for the opportunity to address the important subject of the freedom to serve our neighbor. And it includes the role of religious charities and volunteers and why it matters that they are free to serve. We might all ask ourselves. An April visit by primary general president Camille Lynn Johnson to the Midwest for a religious freedom gathering. She joined other religious leaders at the Freedom to Serve Symposium at Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa. The world is a difficult place for so many. We also see and are moved by those struggling in our own neighborhoods and families. It will take all of us serving, contributing whatever we have available in time, talents, and money to address the suffering we see around us. We are all needed. President Johnson also taught a home evening lesson to a few Latter-day Saint families from Des Moines. What do you see in this picture? Who else do you see around Jesus? These children can invite others to come to the Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. And tell me what you're Spending time to minister to some of the children she oversees in her global colony. Very happy to have a chance to sit in and no, speak this is with terrific. you. The primary general president met with state government leaders at the Iowa State Capitol, including a state senator and the lieutenant governor. <laughs> My focus right now is on children, and, and I hope we look them in the eye and take advantage of their skills and attributes. Her Midwest visit included a stop at Red Cross headquarters. Church members served with the organization in nearly all large-scale disasters, including fires, floods, and tornadoes. All of us play a part in serving our neighbor. We are our communities. We are our churches, mosques, and synagogues. Faith teaches us values and gives the models and support we need to build strong and resilient families, individuals, and communities. Faith unlocks the power of God in our lives. And as we change, we change our communities for the better.